this is another one. This is more Turkish corruption. These agents, man, honestly. So I contacted um, Embassy and just confirmed that it's not a legal requirement to have an agent. That it's just, it's just their way of earning money. I, I get that the Turkish people need to earn money. Yeah, I get that. But, you know, there's lots of poor people and stuff. But you don't need it. Anyway, so I um, went on to the customs, queued up this morning, went up to the um, passport patrol. They're like, you need an agent. You need an agent. And I'm like, no, no, I don't. And they're like, well, if you haven't got an agent, then you need to go to the master. And then you come back to the um, port authority, like the, the police and the uh, customs, to get your passport stuff. I said, that's fine, I can do that, no problem. So I left the boat, got a tender, went round to the master, and uh, the people in the queue weren't helpful, by the way. They weren't nice. They were being shitty. But um, either way, I just went, yes, all right, I can do that. And they're like, oh, you've got to go around. I said, yes, all right, I can do that. Anyway, went round to the master, and the harbour master office, and one of the one of the clerks there started filling in my form and doing the paperwork because it's literally just telling them where you're going. Your transit logs, you need to like hand transit log in. They're like fill it in to make sure it says that I'm leaving the country and where I'm going. It's really, really that easy. I'm Nikki and this is my gorgeous family. Chris, Bo, Bear and our salty puppy Buddy. We've been sailing around the world for three years now on Pickle, a catamaran we bought, renovated and learned to sail on after I had a life-changing epiphany when I was in ICU with meningitis. Subscribe, welcome aboard and enjoy the ride. Hugging the old pooch. So, um... Yeah, the guy, another guy, can't whisper in his ear, she needs an agent. She's not allowed to do it. And he was like, oh, uh, your insurance is valid. I said, yes, it is valid. My insurance is valid. He said, no, I'm sorry, I can't do it. I'm like, what do you mean you can't do it? You was just doing it. You was literally on your computer with my paperwork. You've just taken all my documents. You was doing it. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm not allowed to now. I'm like, what? What do you mean not allowed to now? He was like, oh, just talk to my boss. I'm like, why would I go and talk to your boss? Because your boss has obviously just told you that it's all crap and you're not allowed to do it so you're gonna make me pay an agent. So why would I bother going and talking to your boss? Cause he's just gonna tell me to off like you're telling me to off. And he was like, I'm oh, sorry, I'm really sorry. You have to talk to my boss. And I'm like, fine. So I walked into his boss's office. I said, you the boss? And he says like, yeah. And I'm like, right, can I check it out please? You've had all my documents. You've seen that everything's legit. I just wanna leave. I just wanna give me the stamp and let me leave. And he was like, no, you need an agent. And I'm like, why? He's like, that's just how we do it. I said, I know, but Legally, I don't need an agent. I contacted the government. I don't legally need an agent. I just need to go to the hard master, which is you, then the port police and customs. Why won't you do my document? It's one document. You just got to fill it in to say that I'm leaving. It's, I've already got my transit log. You just got to say that I'm now leaving the country. And he was like, uh, you, need, you need an agent. I'm like, no, I don't. You're breaking the law. I don't need an agent. You're just making me have an agent because it's corrupt and you earn money out of it. And he was like, you don't speak English. I said, you're just speaking English. You speak perfect English. And he was like, mm, mm. He's going, mm. I'm like, oh my God, this is so corrupt. And I'm like, what's your name? I'm going to report you to the government. This is crazy. This corruption is ridiculous. I'm not paying 150, 200 euros to do the piece of paper that I've stood here with now that you could just write that I'm going to roads on. That's not okay. And he's going, mm, mm. He wouldn't give me his name. Right, so... I pressed go on my video. I started videoing the situation because it was getting really, um, I don't know, like out of hand. And I videoed, I'll try to take a picture of the plaque above his door, which said he was the hard master. And I, ha I hope is his name, I don't know. Um, obviously I will be making a fish complaint. Um, so I'm videoing him, acting like a child, sitting there pretending he, he can't speak English. He's going, Nama. Nama, mm, do you know, Nama, Nama, mm, Nama. I'm like, name, you know what name means. You're speaking perfect English. Why are you doing that? And then, to the, uh, get an agent. Would you be able to give me directions to get an agent? Can anybody give me directions to get an agent? Anybody tell me where to get an agent? How do I get an agent? Come, you can look to here. I can, uh, there's an agent out there? Here, here. Oh, you can speak English again now? 
I just videoed you speaking English. Okay, no well done, thank you. And then I'll go out, and the receptionist had been, receptionist had been talking to me, a young girl, felt very sorry for her. Her had been speaking to me in perfect English, suddenly refused to speak to me. I'm like, oh, right, you can't speak English either now, can ya? Obviously, she was just scared to go against her, you know, boss. But um, I'm like, right, well, someone's got to give me the name of the agent. If you want me to use an agent, you can have to speak English and give me the name of an agent. And he's going, mm, 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 like this, right? So the girl said, oh, come outside. I said, I thought you could speak English. She said, I could speak a little bit of English. She's like, oh, I think the name of my agents are here. Well, she weren't. It was just a billboard of full of shit. Well, she was just getting me out of the office, obviously. And at, at, at that, right, the guy's back on the window telling her to take my phone off me, right? Well, she's obviously not going to do it. So little girl, yeah, come on. Breathe. So I'm like, no, you're not having me phone. Because she's like, oh, you can't record. I said, yes, you can. I'm outside, it's the public space. What are you going to do? Take a phone? I don't think so. Go on then, try. And anyway, she's like, oh, stop recording. I'm like, no, I'm not stop recording. You can speak English again then, can ya? And then the guy come running out of the building, chasing me down the road, speaking perfect, absolutely perfect English. Going, give me that phone. You can't record. I said, well, I have recorded. And it's on my phone and you're not telling it. What are you going to do about it? And he's like, ring the police. I said, yeah, ring the police. Ring the police and we'll tell them about your corruption, shall we? We'll report you, shall we? Because this is all going to the authorities, so what are you going to do about it? There's a policeman stood right there, literally by me. Do you want me to get him involved? What, what are you going to do? And he's going on in perfect English. Yeah, because he's on everybody to know. Does he? What a crap mother... Budger he is. I'm so sick of corruption, guys. I'm so sick of it. Yeah, my bear, man, it's stressing me out. Bear's looking at me like I'm crazy. I can't stand it. I can't stand corruption, honestly, I can't stand it. So now, the only agent I can find online in uh, Marmaris is a guy called Hermes, and he has got such bad reviews. He's like really crap. He charges like triple the price if you're a catamaran. He tries to get hundreds and hundreds of euros off you, and you have to pay in cash euros, which one, I haven't got euros, and two, I haven't got cash. He's really crap. He's the latest one on Navale said, don't use him at all. Sell to, sell anywhere. Sell to that car anywhere, but use this guy. He's a crazy, horrible, crap nightmare. So, yeah, not gonna do that either. I wouldn't do that anyway. I wasn't gonna get an agent here anyway. After all that argument with all those people, you know they're gonna make your life misery. You know they're gonna do everything wrong and something's gonna be wrong. You know they're gonna make you wait hours. You know they're gonna make your life hell. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. These people are crazy crap. I can't believe how bad it is, honestly. I knew it was a bad. I, you see the episode when we come, didn't ya? With the agents there working, oh, trying to charge me loads of bloody money. All of them, different prices, making up that they need to charge for. What a load of this is. Honestly, guys, Turkey's beautiful. It is but beautiful. do your homework about getting in out of the country because these, these are, it's just corrupt. It's corrupt. Really? Anyway, right. I've left. I've just come off the queue dock and left. They're going, have you stamped out? I'm like, no, I'm, I haven't. And they're like, where are you going then? I'm like, I'm staying back to Bodrum. I'm not staying back to Bodrum. I said, I'm staying back to Bodrum. I'm, like, I'm going to go back to my original agent. That's what I said. I'm not going to do that. Um, but I am going to sail to somewhere called Bosborum, I think. Bosborum, I think. Yeah, it's about 40 miles, so it's like quite a long sail. It's late now because I've wasted my entire morning f***ing <laughs> around. Yeah, sorry, Bear. Got a long sail. We'll arrive tonight sometime. Anyway, I'm going to try and get there. If I can't get there before dark, I'll find an anchorage before there. But that is where I'm heading. There is um, there's a agent there, which I'll ring when I'm closer and see if he can sort us out. Um, there's also hard marks and um, port police and everything there that I'm sure I could deal with try deal with myself or maybe not they might be cracked as well who knows i don't know how it all works they're obviously all on the take aren't they but um at least the agent at this one where we're going it's got really good views it's really nice he doesn't charge a fortune and apparently this it's really nice there so we'll try that if that doesn't work then we have to sail all the way back to dakar which is another 40 miles or something i don't know i don't, I don't know I, yeah i don't know it's absolutely crazy. Honestly, we just need a passport stamp and hand a transit login. That's all you need to do. Like, it, it shouldn't be this hard. It really shouldn't be this hard. They just make shit up. They're like, oh, you need a transit lock for uh, Greece, good Greece. And I'm like, 
yeah, that's got nothing to do with you. I'll get that at Greece. And they're like, oh, well, you need to pay um, tax. I'm like, yes, I pay cruising tax to Greece. Not you, that's to Greece. I do that online. That's got nothing to stop me leaving. No, no, you need an agent for that. I said, no, I don't. The Turkish agent is not gonna sort out my cruising tax for Greece. That's bull That's lies, stop lying to me. I think they don't like it. They don't like it when I call them out, do they? They don't like it when I turn the line. They don't like it when I know the law and know that it's illegal and they just keep lying and then pretend they can't speak English so they couldn't stop talking to me because he's refusing to do his job and check me out. No, I'm gonna stop moaning now. I'm sorry guys for moaning on, I'm so stressed out. I'll keep you informed and show you what happens with sailing. Big sail, big sail. This is a very long, hard sail, huh? Ah. Long, hard sail. Really yeah, the winds are predicted long, strong, long, strong wind. are stronger than this head and the long, bloody direction. So we're literally tacking, they sure don't know us. The most we've got is like 30 degrees. It's been a hard, long, old 30 miles. We've got about two and a half hours, I think, of sunlight left. And we've got about 10 miles maybe to go. What we're doing is three knots at the moment. Going smack into 20 knots of wind. It's actually not as rough as it was. It's calmed down a bit, but it's been a hell of a sail. Oh, to get away from those bloody corrupt farmers, officials, love it. Let's hope we can check out this next place, okay? Guys, we've got some corrupt, maybe. Anyway, guys, it's been a hell of a day. Tomorrow, we're anchored tonight, so it's tomorrow. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, you'll see us tomorrow sailing on to Greece. Look at all of those boats, they're all the same. 
big fleet of them. I wonder if that's like a charter company owns them all. But there's like so many. Hang on. They're all here as well, but not as many obviously as them. Just look. Crazy amount. Anyway, we're coming in here. Wow, look at that sky, guys. I don't even know what Pete's doing, but we'll ignore that. <laughs> look at that. Looks a bit like Blackpool Tower. Is it Blackpool Tower? Or Liverpool? I have no idea. I'm going to go and work back. <laughs> Cowboy in the making. If you whip me, child, I swear to God. That's pretty cool. Things like that. It's a bit like 666 six, six for half the trouble. <laughs> I like that. That's good. It's funny. Even their masks. What the fuck? I'm guessing they like orange. I'm pretty much 99% sure they like the colour. 99%. Yeah, it's three really unusual boats. There's an orange one, a teal one, and then one that looks like a trout. I don't know what odd looking. Dead stock in the chain. Oh, we're going to lay a fish in the because it's. Do you want the torch? It's 12.2. 12.2. Hey, I hope, guys. I'm just going to have to video and tell you. And you're just going to think I'm like a crazy moaner. <laughs> Honestly. So, as you know, we dealt with some really corrupt, nasty ass officials yesterday in Marmaris. And we're like, yeah, we are not going to check out there. The um, agent, Hermes, I think his name was, or Herms, or something has also got really bad reviews if you go on any of the sailing forums or Navali or Moonsight or any of them, they all say the same thing. I think Marmor's officials and the agent are. Anyway, so we sailed through absolutely dreadful weather to come to somewhere with more civilised people who can treat you like a human being to find a deep, you know, if we're going to use an agent, we'll use one that we pick, like a nice one that's not trying to rob us. And we found a nice one, found one with nice reviews in, um, what's this place called? Bozerum? 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 I think it's Boz... Bozburum. Bozburum. Uh, anyway, he had nice reviews, um, he just wanted 75 euros, so he's not trying to, like, rip us off. I contacted him, he asked for our documents, everything was going fine, he was doing everything professionally, wasn't doing anything untoward. And then, and then he suddenly rang me. This is last night when we just arrived. He rang me and said, um, someone's blocked your boat. I'm like, what? What are you on about? And it's like, yeah, they've, they've like red flagged or something. It blocked it so you can't leave the country. And I'm like, what? That's crazy. How can they do that? What? What have they done? Why have they done that? And he's like, don't know. I, I'll have to leave it to the morning and, and then contact the harbour master and find out. Um, so I was like all night stressing. Honestly, I have not slept. I did keep falling asleep, I kept dreaming about it, so I'm like really stressed out, thinking, what has this done now? What has he done? Now we're mastering a mo marmorous. Anyway, so it turns out, right, get this, I can't believe this, I just can't get this into my head, this is crazy. That corrupt official that pretended he couldn't speak English, then spoke perfect English on the video, right? Which I videoed him doing it, because he's just an arse. He's literally blocked my boat, from leaving the country, flagged me down like I've broken some law or I'm a I'm wanted criminal because I've got video footage of him breaking the law. And he wants me to delete all that video footage 
of him breaking the law and treating us really, really, really badly. Otherwise, he won't let us, he won't remove that black mark off our boat and let us leave. How crazy is that? So I've got to delete the footage now so that he'll let us leave. <coughs> and then it's going to take a day at least for this agent here to put like, um, he has to put some letter in. He has to, he has to write a letter to explain why it's been black marked and why it should be removed so that we can actually leave the country tomorrow, hopefully. He's hoping maybe tomorrow morning, maybe tomorrow afternoon. How corrupt. I, I, I can't believe it's this bad. How is this hub master in Marmaris getting away with black marking us so the Coast Guard is literally looking for us, right? Because we've got video footage of him doing terrible shit. And he's getting away with having this video footage deleted so no one finds out what he's up to. Otherwise, we won't be allowed to leave the country. And the Coast Guard will continue to think our boat is blacklisted. That's how terrible these people are. And, and, it, and it all seems really funny. Like, the kids keep laughing at me because I'm like, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. This is shocking. But it's shocking. How did they get away with it? How did they get away with it? And what do you do about it? What do I do about it, guys? No, there's no, you can do is there because they're all corrupt. It's like Tunisia, isn't it, with, with Marina? Corruption. There's nothing you can do. The police are in on it. All the officials, right up to the government. Even the even the Turkish people say the government's corrupt, so they ain't got a chance, have they? The government's corrupt. Do you know what I mean? There's nothing you can do. You've just got to jump for hoops, I suppose, haven't you? No, you don't get no fines. I think it's a total joke. It's crazy. I'm sorry. It's just so crazy. It's a total joke. I don't, I don't know how, um, I don't, I don't know how you meant to do all this, honestly, like, I've got the number for the, um, English Embassy, we were looking last night, weren't we? To ring the English Embassy and ask their advice on how you deal with this corruption, but I honestly don't think they want to know because there's nothing they can do and you can't, you can't, you can't, like, change it. That guy that's doing all this, that hard master is obviously very corrupt, he, all his staff were scared of him. None of them would say anything. They all went, they, even even that girl pretended she suddenly couldn't speak English, didn't she? Yeah, and we'd actually spoke to her. And we, she in first, full English? She was the first point of contact when we walked in, yeah. And she, not only say full English, but she could definitely speak English. And then you, well. Because you wanted to know his name. He says, tell me your name. You're not speaking English, didn't you? Yeah. And he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't tell you. He was going, name, mm, 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 mm. Don't what, speak English. Mm, 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 what's name? Mm, mm. Idiot. Anyway. Acting like a child. And then she would said not speak English when he says, what's his name? And all the other young lads in there was all putting their heads down. Wouldn't, wouldn't make eye contact, contact with me. Crazy. Anyway, I just, I'm as long shocked. as you don't get no fines, but I ain't paying no fines regardless, I don't care. I'm shocked, mate. I'd have just left the country without checking out, but... Absolutely. But... but we the problem getting in. Greeks, and you've got a real issue checking into Greece, haven't you? If you don't check out Turkey properly, they won't accept you into the country because they don't well, even we want don't anybody know, coming We don't know that, do we? We were looking to try and find out. In in certain situations, I think you can check in anywhere without having a stamp out of anywhere, can't you? But in emergencies. In an emergency, yeah. Can't you just have an heart attack or something? And we can just go over there. That's go to the emergency. That's we need to go. Pretend to have an heart attack, yeah, or something. Yeah, that's my idea. Wasn't it? <laughs> All of us pretend no heart attack and go over to Greece anyway. See you later, alligator. Yeah, we'll let you have know how it goes, isn't it? Tomorrow. Yeah. Don't rest, though. Don't rest! I haven't slept all night. I could do this. Yeah, totally. Don't rest.